the phone? Come hand me those true candies. Hey, y'all, I told y'all I was going to come back, and I have to come back. So I said, let me come back while it's early. Me and my grandbaby just making it back. And y'all can see I laid down on my couch, but then I said, let me get up because I promised my squad that I would come back. It's Saturday night. I ain't doing nothing, but I said I'll come back and see what you guys are going on. And I went live through StreamYard so I could interact with you guys because that other way I could not see anything that you guys were saying. Um, bring down your stuff, what you got, Kai, so I can show the squad what you bought from. Um, where do we go? Sephora. Y'all know I'm not good with these makeup stores. My granddaughter is really good at different makeup stores. Makeup <laughs> is her thing, and she's an artist. So, hey, y'all. Okay. So, Kylie, you want to show them what you got from Sephora today? So, we went to Sephora, like I told you guys, and my grandbaby had money to spend. So, what did you get? I got this lip balm. She got a lip balm. Okay. And I got this mini rare beauty. Ooh. Oh, and she got a highlighter. That's a highlighter, right? Yeah. And it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's like a gold. Let me see. Put the top on it. No, put the top on it. I'm going to show them the bottle up close and personal. Oh, it's so pretty. See if the Oh, you guys can see. See, it's so pretty. It's like a it's like a gold, you guys. It's so pretty. So, those are the things that she got from Sephora, and I want to show you guys these. But let me show let me say hello to everybody. Hey Joanne, hey Shelly, hey So McDaniel, hey Jersey girl. Hey Kim, hey Lonnie, hey Tips, uh Thomasina, hey uh, April Love, uh, let me go up, uh, hey Joanne, hey McDaniel, hey Jersey Girl, hey Linda, hey Four Leaf Clover, hey Peace Real Reaction, how you doing baby, hey Jay Gill, hey Sharon, uh, hey Marianne, hey Unapologetically Stephanie, hey LaShondra, hey Gwen, hey Sabre, um, Sheba, hey Johnny Jacob, hey Dorothy, hey Kim, hey Miss LB, hey Evan Moreau, hey T, T Mac, hey Beautiful Diva, hey um, Blessed Destiny, Kai, bring me a lip gloss, my lips are dry. <laughs> hey Lynette, hey Jacqueline Purdue, hey Tony Lee, hey Penny Wise, let me see if I can get you guys. Uh oh, where'd it go? Oh my God. Hey Antoinette. Uh, let me go back up. Uh, thank you, Lakeisha Bass, for being a member for 26 months. Thank you, baby. Uh, let me see. Pennywise, it's me, Riri. Lucinda Speak, you've been hanging, girl. Hey, Sharon Leatherwood. Hey, Miss Diane Fletch. Uh, oh, my God. What? What am I doing? Okay, you guys. So hello to everybody, right? Because I'll stay here all day, and it keeps shooting me back to the bottom. So I wanted to ask you guys. If you guys want a good, healthy snack, right? My nose always itching. Okay. If you guys want a good, healthy snack, look, you guys, I went to Target because it was a Target over there by Sephora. So these are true fruit. Is it true fruit? True fruit. True fruit. These, this is a good, healthy snack, you guys. These are strawberries covered in a thin sheet of chocolate. They've been advertising these on TikTok lately, and I got, I got um, strawberry and I got raspberry. I like the strawberry better than the raspberry, but they are both good, healthy snacks, you guys. So I got those to snack on throughout the night because I like snacks, but I'm trying to snack a little bit healthier. So I got some true fruits. If you guys have not tried these, Go get you some, you guys. You will not be disappointed. They are so amazingly delicious. Uh, Kai, bring me a Vaseline or something for my lips. So y'all know, as soon as I got off live, the streets got hot, right? So I said, let me do something for you guys. Because me and Kylie, we're not the people that's big on seafood. But my Juju and my other grandbabies, they love seafood. Uh, let me see something really quick because these hoes act like I can't cook. I can cook and I cook with love. So I nourish. Hey, baby. Mm. I'm on live, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask your opinion. With that seafood boil I made you guys last night, what would you rate it from one to ten? 
Mm, a 10. I like the seasoning you use. You like the seasoning I use? So it was good because Kylie, she don't like crab and I don't like crab. So, it, you know, we don't know what good tastes like. But you've had a lot of seafood boils, right? Mm -hmm. And you think that yeah, that was, good. and you think it was good, baby? Yeah, it was good. For sure, 10, good seasoning. Okay. All right, Jubanga. Well, I love you. Have a um good rest of your day at work, and I will see you when you come home. I have to get you guys um opinion because it was it wasn't good. I mean, you know, I don't really eat a lot of it. I like the corn, yeah. potatoes, and eggs. Okay. So Joel is at work, guys. He said it was a 10. Because one thing about it, you guys, I know I got a lot of naysayers on here talking shit. I cook for my babies with love. I love my babies to the moon and back. And I know I don't have to explain this, but I just said, so what? I'll come on here and I'll call and I'm going to call my grandchildren. And then somebody said that my grandson only can come here. These people need to pay me for an interview instead of uh, spreading false narratives about me and my life, which I don't give a fuck because I expect it from a hating ass bitch to lie on me. Right. But. Can we get the truth out there? See, I like the truth. I like shit that makes sense, right? And I'm going to show you guys something else. Hold on. Look at the crank caller, bitch. I don't have time for you today. I don't have time for you today. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. Hold on, you guys. Because I got people that know that I love them. And I cook with love. And my babies, they, listen, they enjoyed every bit of it. And these people don't know I'm calling. I'm calling right here on live because I ain't got no shame in my game. Um, anything I do, I give it 150%, especially when it comes to my kids. Hey, Nene. Hey. Where are Miley? You know, they getting dropped off. Oh, you dropped Miley off too? Yes, and Ryan and Riley still didn't want to come home with me. So you, so all the kids is with Sequoia. Yes. Okay. Listen, what did my grandma, what did my grandbaby say about the seafood boil? Oh, they said it was good. They said it was good, huh? See, they seafood yes. eaters. Kylie really, you know, she's not a big critic because she picked through it. But Joel said it was good. The kids said it was good. I'm gonna have to call Sequoia phone and get my babies on the phone because these hoes try to act like I can't cook. Like, I, it was, that was good. it was good, right? And then these old punk bitches keep wanting to say, uh, Myron only gonna come here if he got company with him. He was here a whole 24 hours before his friend even made right. it. Like, I can't stand these old, it, it, listen, when I say my haters are my motherfucking biggest motherfucking critics, them bitches need to pay me for an interview. They need to just go ahead and cash at me. Tell and them if they so worried, tell them to cash at us so we can make another crap. <laughs> cash at <laughs> but we'll make another one, right? Okay, Nate, when well, you got a free night out, what you doing tonight? What you... It, I'm bored. Girl, you should have came up here with me and Kylie. Shit, we bored too, <laughs> shit. They didn't have me driving all over the world. Girl, you and them kids, honey, ain't that better you than me. <laughs> I ain't doing it. I took Kyla to Sephora and brought my black ass home. Went to Target. I right, finally got... They had me at the skating rink. They had me in there tying. I know. I wish you would have told me. We would have came to the skating rink with you. I didn't even know. We had got back to my house. Myra kept it. Myra was trying to get me to go back to Concord to rock and jump. I'm like, I'm not talking to Brittany. Oh, Myron, he just like his daddy, honey. They don't want to sit still at all. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, let me finish my live stream. I, you know, I got to cuss out a few of these bitches. All right. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. So I don't have anybody else to call. My grandkids are all with Sequoia because they don't get stopped. They don't. They don't get through kicking it. They will kick it until you make them sit their ass down, right? But anyway, so the seafood critics in my house, they was well satisfied. Uh, Joel ate, took some to lunch, took some like. I ain't worried about it. These haters, they never going to find the beauty in my life. And Big CC, you said I had on makeup uh, three shades lighter than me. Do you see my neck, bitch? You see my face and my neck? It's the same color because you know what I do, old bitch? Something you don't know nothing about, old bitch. I go to Sephora and I have the young ladies color match me because if I'm going to spend... $50, $60 on some motherfucking makeup, bitch, you best believe it's gonna motherfucking match.
You best believe it's going to be my motherfucking color, bitch, because I spend them dollars, honey. Hold on. Um, I love um, highlighting my cheeks. Oh, do you, Lucinda? See, my grandbaby, look, she be hipping me on because I don't know nothing about highlight. I like the basic. My eyebrows, I go get those arched. I put a little um, shade over my eyes, my eyeliner, my lipstick, my foundation, and my blush. That's all I do. But I'm going to add powder and highlights, you guys. Hold on. These people make me sick. They need to interview me for an interview because these hoes, let me tell y'all something. These bitches would prefer to say something bad. Like I keep snot rags in the kitchen. Let me tell y'all something. I was in my kitchen. I've been washing and cleaning all day. So I got a load of towels on my counter that I need to take upstairs. I don't have to explain this, but I'm going to explain it, right? I got a load of towels. When I'm messing with my nose, it's only because my nose itch. My nose is not running. My nose doesn't have any boogers. Makeup make my nose itch because I'm sensitive and I'm allergenic. I've been told y'all this, but this bitch want to act like I keep booger towels, snot racks in my motherfucking kitchen. Bitch, please. And then Big Cece, you be wanting to be so grossed out over the shit that you accuse me of because you be loud and motherfucking wrong. But your whole house is a dusty, mildew, rat infested motherfucking mess. And you got the nerve to talk about me? Bitch, I wouldn't walk in your motherfucking house. Bitch, I damn sure wouldn't sleep in that motherfucker. Robert Nasty, decrepit black ass, he couldn't make me a motherfucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You talk about gross. Bitch, you're gross, ho. You the gross ho, bitch. You out there trying to get your nails and feet done. You still look old, bitch. You still look old. And hold on. Because I don't know what this bitch want to see. But I don't know. Can you guys see me? Hold on. Because this bitch want to see my whole body. Hold on. This old bitch want to see my old body. Hold on. Let's see. Can you guys see my whole... What you want to see, old bitch? Here's my legs. Here's my feet. Bitch, what do you want to see, old ho? What do you want to see? You want to see my shape? This is me. This is me, bitch. I don't have nothing to motherfucking hide. I don't got nothing to motherfucking hide, bitch. You want, I mean, what you want to see, bitch? You want to see the crack of my ass? You want to see my toes, ho? What the fuck do your fat, funky ass want to see, bitch? I got a better shape than you, ho. A better shape than you, bitch. And I don't give a fuck how long Big Myron stayed up here as long as he brought them motherfucking dollars, bitch. I tell you, when my grandkids show up and I let that nigga know who's up here, oh, he know what the fuck to do. And he been doing it for 30 plus years, bitch. Ain't, we ain't new to this, bitch. We true to this, ho. Don't worry about Big Mac and how fucking long he stayed up here. The, the main thing is that the fuck he came and brought them motherfucking dollars, bitch. Uh, let me see. Uh, throw it uh, <laughs> throw it back one time, Ross. Listen, I don't know what the bitch want to see. Bitch, I'm thick. <laughs> I'm thick as a snicker. I got a motherfucking waistline, ho. Something that old bitch don't know nothing about. Then you got the homeless bitch. <laughs> Let me mention this homeless Muppet bitch, because that bitch want me to mention her. She wants to be my competition, bitch. You're not, bitch. I don't know you. Uh, I think that you're a homeless bitch in the shelter, always drinking coffee, ain't got no JJ to munch on, bitch. So you so focused on me. But, bitch, let me tell your punk ass something. I don't give a fuck what you say, how you say it, and when you say it. Bitch, don't touch my motherfucking video, so... As long as you ain't reusing my videos, I give two fucks about you. I don't, I don't give a fuck, bitch. You don't know me. Bitch, you can never turn on your camera. So you already lost, bitch. See, we in my motherfucking living room, bitch. This is me. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, bitch, this is me. So if you can't do what I can do, bitch, shut the fuck up, Muppet, bitch. You homeless, pathetic, carpet munching hoe. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You poor ass. Bitch, you broke ass hoe. I make more dough than you. That's all the fuck that matter. And when you start making more money than me, bitch, then maybe you can talk. Because right now, I can't hear your broke ass, bitch. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Zay, I've been watching all your shows. Zay, you went to jail in Thailand. 
Zay, listen, you've been having me glued into your channel. Hats off, Zay. I've been watching, and I'm so glad that you done made it back to the Philippines because you went to jail in Thailand. I couldn't believe it. Hey, Zay, how you doing, boo? Uh, let's see. Hey, April Love, Queen Mary, Kid Kim is speaking to you. Listen, y'all, I pulled up the roast these hoes. Uh, Fee Black Lao, yes, uh, that um, roach was chilling like a villain. Who? And somebody sent me the picture. Listen, Big CC want to try to make, like, I keep something nasty in my kitchen. But, bitches, you got roach on your, you got roaches on your wall? In, in plain view, in plain sight, bitch, don't talk to me about nasty. Roaches are disgusting. That white boy, your daughter, sucking on his prick, that's nasty. Your ugly ass daughter with them yellow ass teeth, that's nasty. You, bitch, you're fat, funky, old, and nasty. You keep saying Miss Loretta smell like piss. I bet you you and Robert smell like piss. <laughs> I bet you y'all the motherfuckers smell like piss. Uh, hold on, y'all. Let me see. This bitch always got something to say. It's that bitch. Uh, let me see. CC stove is greedy and dirty. Ooh, Miss Kim. She so showed a greasy, dirty stove. I wouldn't eat shit up in that motherfucker. That bitch can't move good enough to clean thoroughly. That bitch can't move good enough to clean. That bitch is rolling in that motherfucker's chair, scooting around that house. You can't clean, bitch. I would listen. Y'all know that stove dirty because that old bitch can't stand up to clean, and neither can cripple foot ass Robert. And that bitch got the nerve to talk about somebody. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Old ass bitch. Uh, they say Roach was. Uh, uh, the Roach wasn't scared at all. No, them Roaches is used to there. They like this my motherfucking home. You came and parked your RV on top of our dwelling. They ain't going no motherfucking where. Uh, let me see Roz. Said, hold on, hold on, Johnny Jacob. How you doing, baby? Uh, let me see. Y'all know I have to come back. And it's so sad. I said, before I take off my clothes and wash my face and put my bonnet on and throw me on some comfortable BJs and let these uh, cheap cheese hang, let me come back live and address these old nothing-ass bitches. These bitches can't wait till I come live so they can critique every motherfucking thing I said. I'm like, how the fuck did my grandson me let my grandson bring a friend over how where the fuck did they get that he's only gonna come if he have a friend did i did i explain that to anybody my son is listen y'all let me tell y'all about children right now my grandson likes to play and he loved to have people to play with that wasn't a condition for him coming to spend time with me, but I'm his grandmother. My house is safe. It's cozy. We got everything the fuck we need, and I'm supervising them. So if he want to invite company to his mama house, then he can. He got a, he got a room that he can utilize as his own. And he wanted to have somebody here to play the game because the girls, they tend to play with each other. Miley, Kylie, Mylani, they'll stick together and bake cupcakes. They'll do things that little girls do, right? Paint their nails, sidewalk chalk, uh, you know, different things that they'll do. But Myron is a boy and he's the only boy. So if he want to bring other little boys around to give him somebody to play with, then that's what it is. But these bitches want to get on here and say because I don't know what they think but I don't know I, I guess it was the worst thing they could think of saying because you know they like to pull the worst thing about the ass because the reality is too beautiful and my life is too beautiful the relationship I have with my grandbabies is too beautiful how I love them and care about them and they want and need is important to me that's why I got my black ass up I could lay here all day. I don't have any small kids. But when my granddaughter tells me that she is interested in doing something, I make it motherfucking happen. Because her heart desire is my heart desire. Seeing her happy makes me happy. So you bitches don't like that. Y'all will never come on your channel and say, oh my God, Roz really is attentive to her grandchildren. And you don't have to say it because the fuck I am. See, I do it because I know how important that is, right? One day I'm not going to be able to jump up and drive and go and move and groove. So why the fuck I'm able, big CC? 
take notes, bitch. This is what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure I fuck with mine real strong, real heavy, right? Real strong, real heavy, right? You all lying ass, nothing ass, bitch. Like you bitches love to get on this motherfucker and lie on me. You don't know me. If you want to interview me, if you want to know who the fuck I am, then come on and ask me, bitch, pay me, and I may just answer your questions. But don't come on this motherfucker and lie on me. You bum-ass bitches don't do nothing but lie for the sake of a motherfucking conversation. Let me say this loud and clear. I don't give a fuck about you, your grandkids, what you do with them, how you're doing, what you're cooking, what you're eating. I don't give a fuck about nothing. I laugh at y'all raggedy ass living environments just for the fuck of it because I really don't give a fuck as long as my shit is cozy as long as my shit is what I want I don't give a fuck about the next motherfucker hold on you punk ass bitches uh let me see period period hey convo with Candace how you doing baby and that's another thing we got to be careful about these bitches that don't come on camera. See, Crip Face Chrissy, we know you don't like to keep them teeth in your motherfucking mouth. See, I already win because I, I don't give a fuck how my teeth is spaced out and probably need to be pulled in or taken out or get some veneers and whatever I need to do. I'm not walking around this motherfucker ball mouth like all these bitches that's talking about me. All these bitches talking about me ain't got no motherfucking teeth. Big CC, you got black shit all in the front of your motherfucking mouth. I guess it's from the snuff or whatever the fuck it is that you keep in your gums. Nasty, fat, stank, bitch. But I don't have that motherfucking problem, ho. I don't have that motherfucking problem, ho. Don't hate Queen T. Thank you. Speak, Roz. I got y'all. I told y'all I was coming back. I told y'all I was going to have to come back. Miss Kim is speaking to Cassie, baby. Wanda say hello, Roz. Hey, Wanda. Miss Faye Kelly is speaking to Convo with Candace. Good evening, beautiful queen. Hope all is well with you and yours. Uh, boo, baby. Still boss, baby. Much love. Yeah. Uh, Convo is saying, hey, Mary Ann. Uh, Cassie, baby, say right. Um, let me see. He's the best. Let me see. He's the best only boy. Uh, so he wanted a little boy around. Uh, why they act like they don't get it? Um, the simple things. Cassie, baby, I don't know. Let me pin you. Wouldn't that be understandable? That would be just like, I don't understand how these people don't get that I have a big house and at night it can be spooky if you come down to these dark ass stairs, right? So my granddaughter won't come downstairs without me or somebody being with her. And I get it. I was a little girl at one point in time. I grew up in big homes too. So I know it can be scary when the lights are off, but ain't nothing scary where you, well, like they try to, like they try to picture it, right? Like I've heard kids say that they're scared. Uh, different. It ain't got nothing to do with my son. And then the mother bitch go try to speak on my son. And I think it's so fucked up for these people to even be so disrespectful to speak on my deceased son. Like, bitch, you want something to be about you, mother bitch? I swear on my right hand of God, God can take my life. I don't think twice about you. I think you're ultimately pathetic. You a bitch that's been hiding your whole YouTube career. I think you are disgusted by yourself. So why the fuck would I trip on a bitch that can't even stand the sight of her own motherfucking appearance? Muppet bitch, I'm gonna need you to answer that. Why the fuck would I give a fuck about a bitch that can't come on screen and be confident on who the fuck you are? If you don't feel good about yourself, you think I'm gonna feel good about you? You think I'm going to trip on you to the point where, oh, did she grieve for her son? Don't worry about it, bitch. What, what, what business of that is yours? How long and how and, and why and how long and what, whatever I got going on ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with you. But you want to be so disrespectful with your ugly, trifling, cock-sucking ass. You want to be so disrespectful, right? But I swear on my son's life, I don't give a fuck about you. You are a small motherfucker. Bitch, you a small equation. It's other people on this app that I'm funking with that got better motherfucking numbers than you. Be bitch, better motherfucking outcomes than you. You ain't the one.
You ain't even on the motherfucking startup, bitch. It's like, who are you? Bitch, you can leave and stay gone forever. I'm not going to miss your raggly ass. I'm not, I don't give a fuck about you. You give a fuck about me. I don't give two fucks about you. I think you a homeless bitch. Because who the fuck drink coffee all hours of the day? A homeless bitch. You probably out there walking a dog. <laughs> I don't know what you got going on. But if you think I'm tripping off you to the point it got something to do with my son and I came back so I don't lose my spot, bitch, you can't take my spot if I left this motherfucker for a month, bitch. It won't be you. It'll be somebody else before it's you, bitch. You are struck. You one of them struggling channels, bitch. You're, you got five channels. Every last one of them is doing bad. I'm not impressed. You got 5,000 subscribers, bitch. Please. You not one of them ones, ho. So if you think I'm tripping on you, bitch, think again. And really, I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm just trying to let you know that I don't give two fucks about you. Like, you ain't one of them ones, ho. You ain't one of them ones. You just like the other bitch. It's a bitch right now. They say, my partners on here say, a bitch was jumping up and down yesterday. Talking about me, talking about this. And bitch, I ain't came here today and I didn't address nothing, but I felt inclined to let you know that you're not somebody that I'm finna trip off of, bitch. You're not one of them ones. But see, normally I wouldn't even say nothing to your raggly ass. Because you don't show yourself, your numbers are low. <laughs> you ain't saying nothing that's factual about me. You making up shit as you go just to sell it to these people that like to hear something negative. It, and that's crazy, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. We ain't never going to be a group of women that just want to hear shit just because it's negative. Can it be some truth attached to it? See, when I talk about Big Cece and her hillbilly ass family and the poor white trash that the granddaughter was on here ranting and raving and laughing about, it's truth to that. And everybody that's in the sister circle, we can verify that everything that I'm saying here on social media is motherfucking true. See, you bitches come here and y'all just pour shit out. Y'all just say shit because it's, it's, it's disrespectful. It's something to say. No, bitch, we like facts over here. Remember when I say facts over motherfucking fiction? I meant that shit. Facts over motherfucking fiction. This is why you losing, bitch. This is why a lot of you bitches is losing because y'all come here and y'all just make up shit. Let me make up something. Oh, her grandson's not visiting her unless he got company. Who the fuck said that to your stupid ass? Where the fuck did you get that from? Home? Did you just assume? It's just an assumption. Like, you know what they say about people that assume, right? You make an ass out of yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Uh, let me come down. Uh, let me see. They, they say they always want to make it out um, that your family dislike you. Uh, they do the same thing to me. Exactly, Zay. They hate the love. Just like, let me say this. Hold on, Eric. I see you, baby. Just like they gonna say, my aunties wouldn't come here to babysit me. So I got my grandkids. I got my grandkids because it's easy. Let me turn this phone off because the retarded stalker. Hold on, y'all. Listen, just like they say, my aunties wouldn't come here to babysit me. I don't need to be motherfucking babysitted. I got a motherfucking, I got a pistol, multiple motherfucking pistols. I stand this motherfucker by myself a lot of times. I don't need no motherfucking supervision. Where the fuck did you bitches get that from? Why would my aunties have to come? It's spring break for my children. This is the time that they, you know, I told you guys, spring break and summer, you're going to see my grandkids over. But during the school, you guys are not going to see them because they all live all over the place, right? So how the fuck, oh, her aunties don't love her. My aunties adore the motherfucking ground I walk on. Love me to pieces, love me to death, love me to the moon and back, but I don't need supervision. Last time I checked, I'm 51 motherfucking years old. So again, why y'all like making up shit? That's what I should have titled this video. Why the fuck do you bitches want to make up shit? Uh, let me see. Babysit. Jay Gill, they say the craziest shit. That my aunties don't love me. That I had to get my grandkids to come over and babysit me. Because my I'm like, babysit? Bitch, this is my motherfucking house. 
I send this bitch by myself. I'm looking out for my motherfucking grandkids. Uh, Big CC, um, it's so sad that you are in competition with a younger woman. If it, I mean, it is not Ross' fault that nothing uh, works on your body, including your bad knees and down to your old, nasty, shaking puss. Exactly, stinking, nasty puss. Don't nothing work on that bitch, but mine do. But mine do. And, and let me tell you something, Erica. Did y'all hear that old bitch gulping? Like yesterday, every time she talked, she was like, mm, 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 mm. she kept gulping. Like, is something going on? I'm like, bitch, why you just can't grow old gracefully? You sitting up here getting orange fingernail polish is not going to stop you from being old, bitch. That orange fingernail polish it's not going to stop you from looking all of a hundred and something plus years old, bitch. It's not going to change. You're never going to look as good as me. Oh, the makeup was two, three times lighter. She trying to be a light woman. Bitch, I love my chocolate skin. I, you know how you can tell my skin, bitch, the color of my neck? Bitch, everything going to match my arms. My neck, everything is going to match, bitch. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, she raised a granddaughter, huh? Uh, that um, says a lot. That's what they say. They said that she raised, but why did she have to raise her granddaughter? Where was her nasty, butter, uh, teeth, yellow ass daughter? Why? But the granddaughter is ignorant. And and she act like she got it from her grandmother. Like she just as ignorant as Big CC. I've never seen an old woman never be happy. This lady is searching high and low for happiness. Now she like, I'm getting old. I look old. Let me go get some orange fingernail polish. Let me try. Bitch, ain't listen. And that hairdo with that tight ass black band. Listen, listen. And it's not cute. Why your kids won't help you get a more modern hairstyle? Why you won't do something that's up to the 2024 ho? Your hairdo look like Joan Fonda back in the early motherfucking late 70s, early motherfucking 80s. It's outdated. This is why you look a pickle. This is why you look stupid, Big CC. And you want to keep coming to me. Why don't you invest? And becoming a happy older woman, embrace your age and really get into your beauty. Go to a beauty shop where they can help you do something with that thin ass, itty bitty, short, ball neck ass hair, bitch, because you look a mess. And until you fix your hair, you're going to stay looking a mess. I promise you are. Uh, let me see. Let me come down. Hey, Feast, what you say, baby? Uh, Roz, who the heck? Uh, let me see. Hey, Britt. Well, I missed it. Uh, Michelle say, Roz, who the heck is Joan Fonda? It was an exercise lady back in the 80s, y'all, with the afro. She looked it crazy. Uh, let me see. Shellac said, happy early birthday, boo thing. Happy early birthday. Roz said, a modern hairstyle. I'm weak. She needs to do something. She, listen, she went and got the orange fingernail polish because the bitch is like, that ain't me. Why did I show them that picture? I don't look nothing the same. Robert, do I still look like this? Do, is this still me? It ain't you, bitch. Everybody over there lying to you. You got to ask a stranger. Go to a stranger and say, can you guess who this is? And they're going to be like, no, who the fuck is that? Because the damn show ain't you. Yeah, that's what they're going to say. Uh, let me see. Very ignorant. Uh, but um, let me see. But she's young enough. Uh, let me see. To turn. Um, it around, yeah, she can turn around if she chose to. She a miserable ass bitch. A uh, shellac and party hardy girl, yes. And I saw small talk with Lakeisha. I saw I saw small talk with Lakeisha on her channel today. It was good seeing you, boo. It was good seeing you. Let me go up because I missed somebody. She just uh, let me see. Copied off day day. No, oh, Mary Brown. Did she go get orange? Cause day day got orange. Well, day days look way better. I don't know what the fuck she got, but it ain't going to age that hoe backwards. Bitch, you are aging like a motherfucking sick-ass dog. You are aging like a sick-ass dog, bitch. Look. These are her girl. My mouth is going dry. Let me see. Oh, that's... um. 
Lucinda speaking tough, Miss Faye Kelly. Alawanda say, damn, uh, they are so fucking silly. <laughs> Jeez, I never met a uh, bold, bold as hater uh, like this in my life. Wow, Lawanda. Me either. Bold bitches. They just make up shit as they go. They just say whatever the fuck they got to say. They don't care. It ain't got to be the truth. Can we make Roz look bad? No. Let me tell these hoes something. You know who can make Roz look bad? Roz. Maybe my children. Maybe my grandchildren. But never a bitch that don't know me. So I don't know why they working so hard. I don't understand why they working so hard to try to build my reputation to be anything different. Like I'm not going to pull the fuck up and show everybody exactly what my reputation is about. And let me tell y'all something else, because these broke hoes are ridiculous. They said that I had to wait to get money from you guys before I could go purchase a seafood board for my kids. Now, didn't you guys send me super stickers and super chats? I got one $20 cash app that's still on my phone right now, right? I haven't even deposited to my bank right now. You guys sent me super stickers and cash apps. I won't receive a dime of that money till the 21st of April. That's in a few more weeks, right? So when I went to the store and spent $300 cash, which I got my receipt, if anybody want to see it, maybe I'll post it. That's my money that I already had. But these bitches, they just, oh my gosh, she had to wait for her supporters to buy some seafood for her kids. No, the fuck I didn't. My supporters, they gave me a super chat party. But that money is sitting with Google. Google ain't gave me a dollar yet. But see, the bitches that work for Google, they already know this, right? Anything to try to water me down. You can't water me down, bitch. See, I can go to my bank like I did today. Anything I want to go swipe and buy, bitch, I can. See, I got a big check last month that I'm still fucking with, that I'm still spending from. <laughs> and then a bitch gonna say, why she pay her rent late? Bitch, my rent is due on the 5th of every motherfucking month in the last 14 years. It ain't never changed. So if I want to wait to the 5th to walk in and pay my motherfucking rent, that's what the fuck I'll do. That's my prerogative. I don't understand why you hoes are so concerned about what the fuck I got going on. It's rid I don't give a fuck when you bitches pay your rent. It's just like the stupidest shit you hoes talk about. Y'all ain't got nothing better to talk about. Y'all ain't got no breaking news, no motherfucking tea. See, Big CC, that was some motherfucking newsworthy tea. That was some newsworthy shit. What her granddaughter did the other day, we could talk about that shit for months and Sundays. It was quite, listen, it was quite, it should have been quite embarrassing. It was, and I know it was embarrassing, right? It was so motherfucking embarrassing. This bitch want to act like she don't hear us talking about it. She hear me say, Big Myron came by and broke bread. But she don't hear me say that your granddaughter was on here bragging about getting her ass beat and sucking penis. You heard that too, right? You you did you see the video? I think we need to send Big CC that video of her granddaughter because the bitch is a dog. She didn't say that. She didn't do that. What the fuck? No, bitch. Listen, barnyard Betty, barnyard Betty, do your job, bitch, and send Big CC what's in the motherfucking uh, sister circle. Big CC, we got video of your granddaughter laughing about getting her ass beat. And sucking the dick. And then we got pictures of that son-in-law. <laughs> Look like his crack stank. Look like he rolled from up under the motherfucking nearest trailer park. You said that these were stand-up white folks. No, they not. They're poor white people. And this is why they got all the mixed breed motherfucking kids. Because they don't have any standards, any quality, any nothing, bitch. Nothing. They just like y'all. You the black hillbillies, they the white hillbillies, bitch. Hillbilly bitches. But if you're in denial, we can send you the motherfucking video, ho. Hold on. Because we like facts. We like facts over here. We like facts, bitch. Quit making up shit on me, bitch. And let's talk facts. Hold on. 
Um, let me see. Cassie, baby, say everybody rent is uh, due uh, different days when you're uh, renting from a private landlord. My rent is due um, on the 19th. Okay. Uh, where I live in an apartment complex, it was due on the 5th. And, and late after that, yes, Cassie, baby. But I don't understand why these people so caught up in what the fuck. I said I went yesterday. I paid bills. I went to the grocery store. I went and got my car clean. I ran errands yesterday. Me and my grandma babies these why she pay her rent late oh her rent was late because i heard her say her rent was due on the third bitch it's always gonna be the motherfucking fifth like get off my dick you bum bitches um let me see i um usually don't watch a uh, big cc but i looked the other day and she looked evil look that's the evil mad but you know why she mad because the bitch is like looking a hundred years old because she's so jealous of a young 51 year old woman that whole shit down by my mother I ain't gotta look over and say I'm on live Cassie don't talk don't come in here with your diaper on say I ain't gotta do all that see I'm in the comforts of my motherfucking house y'all can come in it's me I ain't gotta hide nobody I ain't gotta watch what the fuck I say I ain't, listen she has to be codependent on a piece of shit ass nigga and she looks at my life like damn I wish I was half as strong as her I wish I was able to hold shit down by myself she look really looks amazing to me but I don't want to say that I'm so mad because it's her and it's not me and then I make all this money and then I have all these numbers that bitch is like oh my god I just can't win for losing that old hoe need to quit tripping on me go get a new hairdo grow old gracefully find something enjoyable bitch get some happiness in your heart before it's over for you see because you know what I just did for this week oh ho let me tell you know what I brought joy into my heart I got all my grandkids. I gave them popsicles and ice cream and root beer floats and anything they wanted. I treated them to it. It warmed my heart to see them happy. I gave myself joy. Go find something joyous to do, oh ho, because fucking with me, watching me, oh bitch, you're going to stay upset. You're going to stay mad, bitch, because I'm going to stay living my life to the motherfucking fullest. And enjoying my motherfucking babies, bitch. Yeah. Big CC, if you watching me, this is what you're going to see. You don't think, and let me tell y'all something. Big CC going to say, oh my God, she had on makeup that was too light. You don't think that I'm going to come live and I'm going to show everybody on here my makeup? You think anybody else is saying that this shit is not matching perfectly, bitch? Perfect. Perfectly. Right? But you a lying fat bitch. You want something to be wrong. I only wear the best bitch and I give it to myself. It don't take for me to be with a cripple, you know, ankle walking, motherfucking black, ugly, crusty, nasty, shitty, uh, shit in his ass, old man to be motherfucking happy. I do this shit by myself, bitch. I do this shit by myself. Let me, I just sell my babies $325 today. Yeah, you know why? Because the fuck I can. Ain't got to ask nobody for a motherfucking thing. Went in my phone and sent my babies what I wanted them to motherfucking have. Yeah, it feels good, bitch. It's the best feeling in the world to be an independent, strong woman. And you think I'm going to let an old hoe break me down? Bitch, you would be better off going to play with some motherfucking body else. You would never win fucking with me, old hoe. Hold on. Uh, let me see what y'all say. Uh, she say, she, she, Alicia, that bitch, listen, let me tell y'all something. That bitch stay ready for Halloween. Alicia, the bitch stay ready for, I got the lipstick all, it ain't even on her lips. It's on the parameter of her mouth. And she think that's okay. Bitch, you old as Medusa and you don't know how to apply motherfucking lipstick, but you want to come talk to me, bitch, please. Bitch, please, you don't you don't know how to put your lipstick on your lips. It's not for the outline of your mouth. You look like a clown, bitch. And that black lipstick is ugly. Find some lipsticks that bring out the color in your skin. You already pale, bitch. You already 
albino. Find some better colors, bitch. Ain't nobody over there telling you shit. It sucks to be you, bitch. It sucks to be you. Uh, y'all, uh, she wore that Tony uh, the Tiger Frosted Flakes yesterday and thought she was doing something. And ain't nobody told her, Zay, wasn't nothing cute about that. What not cute about that but these bitches they get on here and they be mad at me uh let me see y'all uh let me see what happens she looks uh like what the tears of a clown uh miss bertrice let me stop it so i can read it baby uh Roz, they want you uh to be looking like you are about to die uh they uh when you show up uh looking good that makes them mad miss bertrice i know I know, listen, they gonna stay mad because I can actually come on my camera any given time. Sometime if I'm in pajamas, I won't come on. I just, it ain't because I'm looking crazy. It's only because I'm not decent. Like Big TC was on here with her titties hanging in her lap. I don't want to be on here with my titties hanging in my lap. So what I do, I stay the fuck up off this motherfucker while I'm comfortable. But when I want to get up and put on some motherfucking clothes like today, bitch, I look great. Bitch, I look good. You can't tell me shit. That old can't nobody tell me shit, Miss Bertrice. Uh, let me see. Hey, misunderstood. Hey, April Love. Uh, she looked like Elvis uh with that black. Ooh, Miss Kim. She looked a hot ass mess. Uh, y'all hell in these comments. B Smith, if they are hell in these comments. Hey, Dad's was short of a six pack, looking like boo. Looking like Boo. That's exactly who that bitch look like, right? Like Boo on my deal. Uh, got to catch the replay. Okay, Miss Tammy. Uh, she ain't got no lips. Kim, let me pin you. Bitch ain't got no lips. But I'm like, if you know you ain't got no lips, why the fuck you keep putting on all this makeup around your mouth? And why the fuck don't your daughters tell you to outline your lips so you can stay within the lines? Like, put them on your lips. Why you got lipstick way up here? It's ugly. It make me feel like you were drunk when you were applying that shit. See, you need to go somewhere and where you say you like the best. You say, I like the best. Well, why don't you go get a makeup artist that can help you? Didn't Dimple's little midgified ass, didn't she say her daughter do makeup? Why don't you call your dick sucking granddaughter? Why don't you have her come apply your makeup so you don't have to go all around the perimeters of what's supposed to be your lips? Because you ain't got no lips. That must be the Caucasian in you, bitch. The lips is missing. You ain't got no lips, ho. Uh, let me go up. Thank you, Miss Janice. I want to say, who said, uh, what, who said, Rai Rai, uh, other grandmother look like Mama June? I'm hollering. Oh, LaWanda. Did y'all see that poor white trash? She was Mama June up and down. Crankster. Crankster. Right, right, grandmama is just an old tacky, trashy white woman. But Miss Big CC was lying. She said, these good old white people, they got money, they got land, they are, and they love blacks. Well, them motherfuckers are trailer park trash, and they are worse than the poorest blacks. Big CC, you didn't know? They're trailer park trash. <laughs> they they not on our level. They're they're, you know, they they not the mama looks like she's a crank, sir, in my opinion. It looked like it's some drugs in that family. <laughs> they don't look like upstanding white citizens. They look trashy citizens, uh, probably that don't work, probably to get welfare, uh, live in a trailer park, probably very nasty, probably don't clean. You know, that's what they look like to me. I'm sorry. I don't want to be judgmental. I don't know these people. But Rai Rai, other grandmother, looked like she has some type of addiction. She looks very trashy. <laughs> Mama June is being nice. Uh, I could think of worse, you know, that she looks like. Yeah. Uh, hey, Roz Squad. Hey, Jersey Girl. Say it again, Roz. What part of the game you want me to say, baby? Ankle walking. Yep, ankle walking. He couldn't make me a mother. He couldn't give me a close uh, cup of water. Uh, let me see. That's why they mad, man. That's why they mad. Because I can come on my camera. I have beautiful things in my closet. I... I smell so good. I'm I'm oiled. My skin is moisturized. My teeth are clean. My hair is beautiful. Like, bitch, I can come on camera. And you bitches that's high 
Y'all want to say that you got something to say about me? No, bitch, come on camera. Chrissy, come here and um, put your teeth in <laughs> and come here and, 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 and show yourself. Chrissy, bald-headed, ain't got no motherfucking teeth, ain't got a bot. Her attributes don't exist. The bitch is up and down like a motherfucking flat on this side, flat on this side. Y'all think Barnyard Betty is built backwards? Crit face Chrissy built backwards too. And this is why them bitches hide. Then she only want to come in camera when she acting like she trying to be silly. Bitch, come on camera and just hold a motherfucking conversation. That's what you do, crit face Chrissy. Because anytime, I'm telling y'all something. Anytime a bitch ain't got their own teeth, you can't talk to me. You damn sure can't insult me. If you ain't got your own teeth in your mouth, bitch, you cannot insult me. No. No, I'm going to cuss your ass out and make you feel itty bitty small. You got to have your own teeth. Because where I'm from, if you missing teeth, it's a problem. See, we don't, we don't take kindly to bitches that ain't got no teeth. You don't get to even talk to me, let alone sit with me, bitch. You can't. So, Crip Face Chrissy, I don't give a fuck about you. Uh, big CC, I done drug your ass, bitch. You should feel this big. You want to talk about Auntie Loretta and what she smelled like? You wouldn't know. You ain't never been around her. Then you taking the word of a mad bitch because Auntie Loretta said get the fuck away because before Auntie Loretta said get the fuck away, that was Auntie and she loved her and she was all sucking out of her ass but she never said that she stank. But as soon as Auntie Loretta say, get your uh, stupid, negative, evil, barnyard Betty, get your ass on. Oh, she stinks. But people said barnyard Betty stinks. Ain't none of us been around her, so we don't know for a fact. But it's been said about barnyard Betty just like it's been said about Loretta. Just like it's been said about you, Big Cece. Just like we said it about Robert. So how, do, how are we ever going to know? We're not around each other. So you think you keep calling her pissy? is a dig bitch but you could be the pissy one you sit in a chair all motherfucking day drunk you don't think that we think you over here having accidents bitch we do we think you're having accidents see a lot of people that's been around um intoxicated people we know that they get pissy they throw up they be all fucked up and you sit in that same motherfucking chair so while you talking about auntie loretta bitch it could be you i must it, it could be you bitch it could be you best thing. You know what I'm saying? Just like they say, they can say whatever about me. Ain't nobody been around me. Nobody can say it for a fact. But see, we had people around Barnyard Betty that actually said she smelled like a motherfucking cow's ass. Yeah, they said Barnyard Betty stink. And I could just imagine if I had to live in a barn that was all fucked up like Barnyard Betty, I probably would have an odor too. And I believe, Big CC, you live in a trailer with the rats and roaches <laughs> in the middle of no man's land you probably your trailer probably got an odor too your husband is 80 years old he's not cleaning himself good mm -mm, i don't believe i don't know he might i don't know i can't say for certain but i would be a betting woman and i say he probably smell like old mothballs we seen the mildew in your motherfucking closet. So when you come here and try to act like she stay and he stay, bitch, we think you stay. <laughs> we we all think you stay. We don't know for a fact, but you look pretty stinky, your motherfucking self. Uh, exactly, Cheryl. I'm late, but I'm here. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Um, I feel sorry for the toilet in that. Ooh, Zay. The toilet in the motherfucking trailer, baby. You could melt me and pour me. I'd rather go use a motherfucking uh, uh, gas station toilet. Ooh, could you imagine? And then you got big CC funky pig looking ass. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not using not a bathroom. Uh, that's right, Trinity. Bumpy said BYB state and the kids as well. Let me pin you. Bumpy Johns, it's been multiple people said Barnyard Betty stink, right? <laughs> and her children. And these are people that's been around her. Yes, baby. Oh, in a freezer? Okay, baby. And her children. Multiple people. Her, her supporters that was over there on that lady's page. They said she stank. That she didn't have money for food. This is people that's been around. I'll take their word. 
Before I take Big CC worried about Auntie Loretta, Big CC ain't never been around Loretta. We know Barnyard Betty is a motherfucking professional, <laughs> professional liar. She lies for a sport. She lie every time she opened her mouth. So you want to take Barnyard Betty's opinion. We don't believe her. We don't believe you. And Auntie Loretta, ignore them bitches, do you? You got rid of Shonda. Let that black bitch, at, let that big black, burly, uh, bald head, ugly, let her raggly ass go. You don't even got to go back and forth with her. You do what you want to do. I'm just saying that I, listen, them hoes, they don't even, they don't deserve a response. Fuck them bitches. Uh, cow's ass, yes. They said that Barnyard Betty smelled like cow's ass. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I'm not surprised. The bitch lived with the cows. I mean, I done said this a thousand times, y'all. We've all been rolled past a pasture of cows and the stench of the air on the motherfucking freeway be so, what do you call it, notorious? It stinks so bad that we try to hurry up and get past so we can get out of that air. Kylie, have you ever rolled past a, a patch of cows? And, uh, and it stink. It smells bad, right? So my granddaughter even know what a patch of cows smell like. And Barnyard Betty lives with these people. She actually lives in their barn. Could you imagine? Could you? <laughs> she lives there. Put the put the animals out the barn and took over their motherfucking area. That's what that bitch did. But this is the same bitch to say everybody else stink. Bitch, you're the stinkiest Barnyard Betty. You the motherfucking stinkers. You can't live with cows in close proximity and not be exposed to some of the funk, bitch. Use a motherfucking lie. See, scientifically proven, anywhere where there's cow shit, there's a motherfucking stench. Ain't no getting around that. Ain't no getting away from that. Boring yard, Betty. Your environment stinks. And I ain't never been there, but I can say it with certainty that I have smelled cows, cows on the freeway. You stink, bitch. Hold on, y'all. That bitch stink. We know for a fact more y'all made stink. Uh, you know uh, she owned an ooh feast. Oh, the motherfucking pissy. But on here talking about girl by girl by. But listen, y'all. Listen, Brittany, Glam, Feast, Ex Granny, everybody. Big CC is having a midlife crisis. She's getting old and she don't like it. So every time we talk about this bitch, we're going to call her the old ugly hoe. She's the old ugly hoe that don't look nothing like that picture. Quit telling people that's you because we don't believe you. So every time y'all talk about her, she is now and will forever be the old ugly hoe, okay? That's her new name. New name alert. <laughs> anyway, I have to bring y'all back in. Uh, Kylie, can you give me a pair of pajamas or give me a moo moo? I'm going to change down here. Uh, Kim say, I've never smelled BYB, but I bet she smells like mildew. She smells like mildew and cow ass, cow shit. Listen, Miss Kim, anywhere where there's cows and there's, you know, cows live, Oh, it's a stench. It's a stench. Sony, they say, I uh, didn't know we was back. Hey, y'all, yeah, I'm about to get out of here. I came, I said, I'll give another hour because I had so many people coming up here lying on me. I'm like, you bitches want to interview me? Y'all want the real information or you bitches just like to slander me with lies? You bitch, and it's going to be so funny, y'all, because after May, if my baby ever gets some downtime, she already said, Mom, I'm sworn into federal court. If these people want to keep on saying who you are, what you are, what you do, and then you can take them to federal court and you can ask a judge to tell them how. How do you know this about a woman that you ain't never been around? Oh, no, that's my gown. No, I just want a gown, baby. Thank you. Turn off them lights up there. How do y'all know this? That's slander. That's that's slander, you guys. And because I'm so busy and these bitches are not worth my time, like I'm trying to enjoy live my life to the fullest. But it's going to be something these bitches say. And I'm going to say, uh-uh, fuck that shit. Prove it. You said this for a certainty that this is who I was. You said as if you knew me, bitch. 
You have caused me a disadvantage. You have caused me a loss. Let me get in a federal court because I'm going to need you to prove exactly where did this information come or do you bitches just like making up shit? And you can have your opinion, but when you say things for a fact, bitch, I'll be the one to make you prove it. And I know I haven't made anybody prove anything thus far, but you never know when I'm going to do it. So you punk ass bitches better be careful when you speaking on me. Because you don't never know how I'm coming, bitch. And then I be thinking, y'all, you bitch is so poor. <laughs> you bitch is so broke. It probably ain't even worth the ink on the motherfucking paper. Is it worth me writing out a motherfucking formal complaint? Asking a judge, are you? is it worth it? You bitch, what can I squeeze? You can't squeeze water from a motherfucker turnip. You bitches live in deplorable, shitty conditions. So that makes me feel like you hoes ain't got shit. But like I say, one day, you never motherfucking know how I'm coming, when I'm coming, or, you know, how it's going to be. But you bitches keep on lying on me, and one day you're going to have to motherfucking prove it. So you better think twice and think hard before you come out here and say something for certainty about motherfucking chopping it up for Roz. Because you bitches don't know me. You don't know nothing about me. Ain't never been around me and shouldn't give a fuck about me. But you jealous bitches can't help but to give a fuck about me. It sucks to be you bitches. See, it sucks to be you hoes. Hold on. Hey, royalty queen again. Uh, let me see if he say a typo. Okay. Uh, you guys in the butchers, they better shut up. They royalty queen. Like I say, they they just they don't even know. They just don't understand, honey. They've been getting passes. These hoes ain't worth my motherfucking time, but you never know. Say some shit for certainty, and I'ma say, bitch, prove it. Prove it, bitch. And if you can't prove it, you gonna motherfucking break bread, ho. Speak, Ross. I got you, baby. Uh, CC said last night, uh, ketchup mustard. Uh, she copies everything you do and say exactly. Black jewels drop gems. That bitch wished that she could roll back the hand of times and live my life. She wished that she could raise her daughters alone. She wished she would have gotten a beautiful environment. She wished that she would have been able to represent herself as a strong black woman, not a codependent fucking, you know, spectacle with this old nasty, you know, man, this old decrepit ass man. She wished that she could have my story. I did this by myself, bitch. And I got dudes around me, but they pull up and give me what I need, supply what I tell them we need, and they get the fuck on, because guess what? I'm steering the ship of this motherfucker, right? And I love it. I love it, honey. This is my household. <laughs> my my casa. My casa, boo. Uh, let me see. Uh, what's the song? Uh, Sheba, a uh, song of that movie. What movie, Lucinda? A uh, piece a cc i should be cussing uh that hoe um, of a g baby out for uh coming out here letting the world know uh she uh was caught sucking a uh, ping ping in front of the oh baby in the in-laws trailer and big cc's in denial oh they want to come pick with kids they want to come attack my grandkids no your granddaughter for the last time before i go came out here and said that the dude was beating her ass, laughing in the same breath, saying, so what if I was sucking his dick? Who saw me sucking his dick? His mom ain't never been home when I was there sucking his dick. Your granddaughter. We're not messing with her. We're just basically repeating exactly what she said and said that if we were you, if we was dimples, we would be motherfucking ashamed. I would be ashamed. I would be like, oh my God, I cannot believe my grandbaby just embarrassed the fuck out of me like that. How motherfucking ignorant. And then the granddaughter took all those pictures. So I see your nasty ass yard. I'm not impressed. It doesn't look as good as where I live. <laughs> like you was trying to say it did. No, it didn't it look raggly, patchy, tacky. But I know that old man can't take care of a yard. He can barely take care of his own decrepit ass, right? But anyway, but then she took all those pictures. Expose you and your family 
and the white family expose all you motherfuckers. And we just like, oh my God, Big Cece is such a fucking fat liar. Such a fat ass liar. Now, I've showed myself all the way to my feet. I've called my children that love seafood. <laughs> Me and Kylie, we got good food in there that we love to eat because we don't like seafood. Everybody ain't big on seafood and I'm not one, but I cook that shit with love for my babies. But anyway, I told y'all I was going to come back. I'm going to go take off this dress wash my face, tie up my hair, put on a muumu, lay in front of the TV and watch a movie. My son will be home uh, in an hour. I'm going to wait for Juju to get up in here so that I can lock down my house and get cozy. Um, yep, and my babies are out partying this Saturday. Well, I think it's about to be Sunday in Bali. But they having a ball. I done already checked in. I made sure they was good. I'm going to go relax. And I pray to God, everybody on the squad, I pray to God you guys relax tonight too. Y'all know y'all going to see me in the morning. I may come live on Facebook and cook my granddaughter's breakfast. Um, I'm thinking to make us some smothered potatoes and some sausage. Make us something that we like. Although my granddaughter is saying, what you say, Kai? What am I doing to you? What was you telling me I'm doing to you? And you can't wait to get back home. <laughs> Come here, they didn't hear you, Kai. My granddaughter said that I'm doing something to her. So I don't even know if I should talk about food because she's at an age where she's watching her figure, right? So you said I'm what, Kai? <laughs> you not fat, though. You skinny. She said that I am, I'm feeding her too much. But y'all know we show love. We show love through food, you guys. So every time I look around, I want to I want to feed her, right? But she said, Mama, I haven't been 120 pounds in a long time. When I get back home, me and, I'm going back into me and my mommy's diet. Because you know my oldest daughter is very cautious about food, right? Me, I love all my baby stew food. So my baby, when I talk about making her breakfast, I got to... Do you want me to make you breakfast? Mm -hmm. I want no. you breakfast. You don't eat breakfast? Mm -hmm. Uh, but I wanted to spoil you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make lunch. Okay. Because my baby said, I ain't going to make her fat. But anyway, y'all, me and Kylie, we got to find us a good movie. I like shows. You like shows? Okay, we got to find a show. Well, me and Kylie is about to relax, you guys. We only got a couple more nights together. But my baby said, Mama, you're making me fat. I ain't trying to make her fat, you guys. I'm just loving on her through food. But anyway, I love you guys. Let's go all have an amazing, peaceful night. Let's not forget to pray and thank the Father God above for blessing us with this beautiful, beautiful, relaxing, gorgeous, wonderful day. And like I say, I come here and have the hard conversations, but my life is great. I have zero zero complaints you guys if i could redo this week again i would but i'm gonna have the more weeks like this during the summer but i enjoy my babies and i'm just like head over heels about how everything is going so you guys even with the insults coming they cannot steal my joy so let's have a great night i love you guys i will see you guys tomorrow again i think i'm gonna go over to facebook because i need to go over there a few times i'm gonna try to go over there at least once or twice a month uh just the you know, just to show my face, because I do have supporters over there, too. So I think tomorrow I'm going to come live. If I don't cook breakfast, I'll cook lunch. Okay, you guys, but I love y'all. Have an amazing night on purpose, and I love you, Ross Bob. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for loving me, and I will see everybody in the um, next video. Okay, bye, guys.